Welcome back. In our last video, we rehydrated our starter. Today, we're gonna to make a loaf. And unlike our last loaf, that was a true to traditional 18 hour proof, um, we're gonna use yeast, which I know is an untraditional sourdough. But hey, I get it. Not everybody has 18, 20 hours to make a loaf and let it proof overnight. So tonight, we're gonna to do a quick way. Um, but you still need your scale, your bowl, I'm gonna measure out 228 grams of my starter, 340 grams of lukewarm water, and one tablespoon of yeast. So here we go. And one tablespoon of yeast. From here, you wanna take a spatula and just go ahead and bring it all together. And we're gonna let our yeast break down and bloom, which should take about five minutes. While that happens, one thing I failed to, to mention last time is after we take from our starter, we need to refeed it. So I'm just gonna feed it our basic 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of lukewarm water. Um, there we go. As I mentioned before, um, it doesn't have to be exactly 50. If it's 52, 55, 48, uh, the only thing that matters is that it's equal parts. So once you got both of it in, mix it up. From here, we want to lightly put our lid back on. And what we're trying to achieve here is that the carbon monoxide that the starter is producing from fermentating slightly needs to burp sometimes. So if we wrench it down, right, then it won't be able to burp. That won't kill it, but it should be light enough to my lid sits and I'm just one turn. So that way it doesn't get knocked off. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Um, some of my yeast still is like clumped together, but the whole point is that it's broken down slightly. It's no longer beads, right? So from here, I want to add 602 grams of flour. And don't worry, I'll put the recipe below. And two teaspoons of salt. We're done with our scale. Take that same spatula and just mix it all together. Now that it has come together a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it out onto my table and work it there. Okay, now that we flipped it, I'm gonna work it on the table. I've floured my table, okay? And I'm just gonna push down here. Square off, right? So it's about yay long. Ha ha, right? And then we're gonna roll it. Okay, see how it's still crummy? That's fine. So we're gonna push it back down. With the seam, we're gonna flip up and over. I'm gonna roll it again. Flip it back over, I'm gonna push down one more time. And then instead of rolling here, I'm just gonna bring it, what I'm doing here, I'm just folding it in half and pinching and making a little ball, okay? We're gonna let this proof for a few hours. It'll be so much faster than a traditional sourdough. So we'll watch it grow, here we go. Take a clean bowl. Spray it, pop your dough in here, spray the top, and then plastic wrap it. At this point, I'm going to boil some water and stick that inside my oven with the oven light on and create a little proofer inside my oven and let this really pop a lot faster. Since it has yeast, it's gonna come up.
Here we go. Okay, our sourdough has proofed. It's really only been in there for about an hour and a half, two hours. So take the plastic off. Um, we're gonna keep this, just put this aside. I'm gonna flip the bowl uh, out. So what I do, uh, with a uh, dusted hand, I grab it and just drop it out on there. Okay, I'm gonna dust a little more with my hands. I'm just gonna pick it up. Stretch it out here. So about a half of an inch. We're not really trying to knock it down. Maybe a third of an inch, right? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up after I've squared off the corners. Go ahead and roll this up. Make a little log, okay? Press down lightly. And this time, probably about three quarters of an inch, okay? Pick this up. I need a little bit more flour. Pick this up. Pick this off. Roll it up again. And then I'm going to go ahead and pinch the seam. Make it about the same size as a 9x5. What you're going to do, you're going to take a 9x5, you're going to dust it, not dust it, you're going to spray it with non-stick spray. Set my dough in here. I'm going to spray the top, and then I'm going to take that plastic we saved and put it lightly over the top. Put this back into your oven for about, oh, I don't know, about an hour and a half, but we're gonna check on it in about 30 minutes. So this is actually going really quickly. So see you when it's proofed back up. All right, now that our bread has completely proofed, uh, it was really only in there for about two hours. Uh, we started this at 7.45, it is 10.48. So start to finish three hours, really quick. Sourdough, you can do in an afternoon for dinner. So the reason why I had you spray the top is for right now. Uh, if we don't spray the top, the plastic will stick. And then when we pull it, our sourdough will like slightly pop and then fall. So we spray it. There you go. All right. Now mine's been sitting out for a little bit, so it's dry. But at this point, you would like to let it sit for about five minutes. Uh, and in that five minutes, go ahead and melt a couple tablespoons of butter. And then you just want to brush, lightly brush it on. Now if you do this while it's still hot, the bread might fall, so you want to make sure that your bread has sat for a few minutes once you pull it out from perfect. Um, if you'd like, sprinkle it with salt. And we're going to bake this at 350 from 30 to 45 minutes. It's really difficult. Each oven is uh, slightly different. So I'll let you know when it comes out. Here we go. I normally put a baking sheet underneath just in case any of the butter drips off and it doesn't burn off. Uh, take just a tablespoon or two of water and just go ahead and put it right in there. That'll create a little bit of steam and uh, get a better crumb on your bread. Okay, mine's all done. Uh, so instead of relying on a clock to tell you when it's done, you should let the bread tell you when it's done. So mine took about 40 minutes. And the best way to do this is to flip it out of the pan and knock on it. Now mine feels pretty good. Uh, it sounds hollow, it doesn't feel heavy. Um, and I wouldn't cut into it at this point. If you can't wait, I'd wait about two or three hours. If you can't, I don't know, at least 20 or 30. Okay, now that our bread is cooled off, we're gonna go ahead and cut into this. You always wanna try and cut on the corner because this is one of the hardest parts versus smashing your bread down and let your, the bread knife do the work for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into this. There we go. I could have let it cool down a little bit more. It's still a little steamy. It was only about a half an hour. 
So there you go. Uh, this is a pretty quick recipe. I started it only about three hours ago. So realistically, if you wanted this for dinner and it was, uh, you know, in the afternoon, you could still make it. Uh, our last video, we started with our jar. Um, we rehy rehydrated our sourdough. Went to our starter. Took our starter to make our bread. Um, I know this is an untraditional way with yeast, but it's still great tasting bread. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully you subscribe. Thanks again. I've got a little story for you. Oompa, loompa, oompa dee dee. I don't know the rest of the song. <laughs>